Speaking of a derby, we're going to go on to the MLS. This is Tevin's bread and butter, by the way. Ibrahimovic comes over to the USA, first game LA Derby, comes off the bench, scores two crazy goals. The first one was so fantastic about, what, 40 yards 40 out? 40 yards, probably. Just yeah. about that. Takes the shirt off, gets the yellow card. More goals in, <laughs> than cards in his debut. I think that this was absolutely amazing. Electric, and I love how he kind of put to bed the stupid narrative that's around the MLS, calling it a retirement league. A guy like this has got to be good for the league, right? Oh, no doubt. I believe Zlatan will be great for MLS. He's 36 years old, however. He plays like he's 26. Yeah. He's really incredible. He's his body in great shape. He's a black belt. <laughs> he he's is, really? Ju yeah, Judo. Wow. Oh, all the time. That's why you see his crazy goals with his leg. He gets his leg so high up in the end. That's, yeah. from, that's from karate, man. That's not just from, <laughs> that's not just from uh, great legs and stretching. But you, know, you got to love it, too, because he brings a personality to the league and yes. a dynamic. We know, like, David Beckham is a pretty face. He's really appealing to all fronts, you know, mm -hmm. um, with the females and the males. But Slaton really brings in this arrogance, but he backs it up. And, like, we saw it with his letter that he put in the L.A. Times. Amazing. He bought out a page. We're going to put this graphic up on the screen right now. You could see it. He just says, you're welcome. That's all he needs to say. Two words in that letter. That's two really goals in this game. And, and, and I think. come back for the yeah. they were, L.A. got to see it down 3 nothing. It was incredible. Uh, Zlatan came on at 1-3. He, didn't sit, uh, he comp contributed a little bit to the first goal. Then he scored that 40-yard volley, and then that final goal, which some people are saying was offsides, but I'm not convinced it was. You can't but, give him offsides in that. It's too good of a story. He's Zlatan, yeah. Exactly. Okay, so we're going to move on over to the East Coast to wrap this show up here. NYCFC, they look great. I think this is probably the best start that they've had to an MLS season since they came into the league a few years ago. No, we know no Andrea Pirlo now, no Frank Lampard, but David Thank Villa is God. the mainstay. <laughs> Thank God. David Villa is the mainstay in this club now. But they had a great result all the way over in San Jose without David Villa. How do you like their chances for the MLS Cup this year? I think they have the best chances of all MLS teams, even better than Toronto, who is okay. playing in the Champions sense. League right now. Okay. Yeah. NYCFC is the deepest team right now. They have, like, three guys that could start at every position. David Villa has played, only played two games this year. And NYCFC is 4-0-1. Oh, they haven't lost a game yet. Maxi Morales is amazing. He's Max electric. What is he, like 5'2"? He's 5'2", and he's... <laughs> he, makes it, he makes me yeah. look tall. That's, how, that's what's so fantastic <laughs> about it. So, you like their chances coming out. Do you think do. they will hoist the cup at the end of the year? You never know with MLS, honestly. MLS yeah. is truly the most unpredictable league in the world. Uh, very early. But if you're looking at depth and stats, I think NYCFC is the team. But... Tajiri, uh, starting over for Villa when he was injured, mm -hmm. scoring three goals. It's uh, a great sign. He's what? It's a great sign. He's, I mean, you, yes, don't, you don't even have to You don't yeah. have to start your best player, and you're winning games all the way exactly. on the West Coast. Exactly, yeah. So. Most of the, support, um, the best uh, signing, I think, of the offseason wasn't even Medina. I think it was uh, Anton Tinnerholm, the right back. Tinnerholm, he scored, he yeah. scored a goal. He that scored game that game volley, yeah. He already has two goals on the year. He's <laughs> great at coming up. I think he's really been the best for NYCFC all year. And they did a good job of replacing Jack Harrison, too, because he was one of their best players last yeah. season. And I think that's really important to have. And I think that's just a testament on how good NYCFC has been with their scouting because it's not just the sexy player names like Lampard or Villa and Pirlo. It's the lower-level guys like Matataria, Morales, yep. and, and Liner, uh, Tinnerholm now. Yes. So, so, okay. So, real quick, you sure you don't want to pick them for the MLS Cup? You can. I'm going to pick NYCFC for the MLS Cup. Okay, there you go. All right. You got that. That's your big prediction for the end of the show. <laughs> Martino Puccio, Tevin Costoso, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next week.